Today, we are going to explore the fascinating world of ecosystems and their interactions. We will be focusing on food chains and food webs. A food chain is a simple representation of the feeding relationships between organisms in an ecosystem. It shows how energy and nutrients flow from one organism to another. In a food chain, organisms are classified into three main categories, producers, consumers, and decomposers. Producers create their own food. Some examples of producers are plants. Algae. And some types of bacteria. Consumers eat other organisms. Examples of consumers are rabbits. Deer. Foxes. Tigers. Decomposers break down dead plants and animals. Examples of decomposers are fungi. Bacteria. And earthworms. Consumers are further classified into three types. Primary consumers eat plants which are producers. Caterpillars. Rabbits. And deer are primary consumers. Secondary consumers eat primary consumers. Birds. Snakes. And foxes are secondary consumers. Tertiary consumers eat secondary consumers. Tigers. Hawks. Lions are tertiary consumers. Food chains provide a simple representation of feeding relationships. They do not capture the complexity of real ecosystems. That's where food webs come in. A food web is a network of interconnected food chains. It shows the feeding relationships between all organisms in an ecosystem. It shows how energy and nutrients flow through the ecosystem. It highlights the importance of each organism in maintaining balance. In a food web, the same categories of producers, consumers, and decomposers are present. Their relationships are more complex. This interconnectedness helps to maintain the stability of the ecosystem. The loss of one species can have cascading effects on others. Understanding food chains and food webs helps us see how different organisms in the ecosystem interact with each other. It helps us understand how important it is to protect our natural environments.